Fisheries and Oceans Canada presents Shrimp Trawling, Handling and Releasing Wolf Fish. Fishing on the coast of Newfoundland and Labrador. Catching cod and crab. Shrimp, turbot, redfish, and sometimes pulling aboard fish you don't want to see. Here's one now, a wolf fish. The wolf fish, catfish to most fishermen, not the prettiest fish in the sea for sure. And look at those teeth. Why then is the government of Canada so concerned about the wolf fish? Why are they protected by law? Why are fishermen being asked to carefully release any wolf fish they accidentally catch? Well, basically, because studies have shown that the wolf fish is in trouble. Their numbers have declined drastically over the past 30 years, especially the spotted wolf fish and the northern, known as jellycat to many fishermen. They are both listed as threatened. In other words, if action isn't taken, these fish could be on the path to extinction. The other wolf fish, the striped, seems to be in somewhat better shape. However, it's being watched carefully and is listed as being of special concern. So what can fishermen do when they show up on their hooks and in their nets? Basically, fishermen are advised to keep an eye out for them, handle them carefully, and release them as soon as possible. One of the mainstays of the Newfoundland and Quebec fishery in recent years has been shrimp. Vessels range all over the Newfoundland coast and the coast of Labrador, searching for a load of those tasty morsels. Let's go on board the Newfoundland Traveler as she trawls for shrimp in 3L, about 130 miles off Fogo Island. After towing two or three hours, it's time to take back the shrimp trawl. The long warps are winched in, the doors appear, and eventually, the shrimp trawl itself. Here comes the bycatch excluder grate, the grate that keeps larger fish from entering the trawl. The Newfoundland traveler wants only shrimp. This device keeps unwanted bycatch out. It will keep out wolf fish too, at least the larger ones. Some tiny ones may slip through the gate though, and there's not much you can do about it. The only possible way to reduce mortality among juvenile wolf fish is to avoid areas where there are high concentrations of young wolf fish and to have shorter towing times. The shrimp spill into a waist-high hopper. This makes the next step a lot easier. Next, the catch must be checked over to remove any other fish or debris that may have been accidentally caught. This sharp-eyed deckhand seems to have spotted something un-shrimp-like. Yes, here it is, a very young wolf fish. Wolf fish can be caught by almost any type of fishing gear. It's important to release them unharmed as quickly and efficiently as possible. Here are some suggestions. Handle wolf fish gently and avoid touching the gills. Release wolf fish as quickly as possible. If you do not want to handle a wolf fish, use a dip net to release the fish. Shorter toes are recommended for shrimp trawlers and the other mobile gear vessels when they are operating in areas where there's a bycatch of wolf fish. Though many fishermen consider the wolf fish to be a nuisance and a competitor on the fishing ground, they must do their best to protect the species and, whenever possible, release them unharmed. Wolf fish are part of a delicate ocean ecosystem that we are only beginning to understand. They must be protected. If their numbers continue to decline, commercial fisheries could be affected. It's in the fishermen's own interest to protect the wolf fish and other threatened or endangered species. Hopefully, fishermen everywhere will do their best to make sure this interesting creature, the wolf fish, will always be found in our waters. Adapted from Handling and Releasing Wolf Fish, produced by David Quinton for Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Narrated by Michael Bourguignon. Special thanks to the captains and crews of the Penny's Endurance, the Cape Friels Cruiser, the Newfoundland Traveler, the Mialbegek Harvester, 
the White Diamond, and the Cape Beaver. Brought to you by the Government of Canada.